Welcome everybody, this is Alan with Daily Armor of God. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hope you're all doing well. This is reading the Old Testament, 88 days. We're on day 66, and we'll be reading Proverbs 11 to 20. So, let's go ahead and get started in Proverbs 11. Verse 1. A false balance is an abomination to Yahweh, but a just weight is his delight. When pride cometh, then cometh shame. But with the lowly is wisdom. The integrity of the upright shall guide them, but the perverseness of transgressors shall destroy them. Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivereth from death. The righteousness of the perfect shall direct his way, but the wicked shall fall by his own wickedness. The righteousness of the upright shall deliver them, but transgressors shall be taken in their own naughtiness. When a wicked man dieth, his expectation shall perish, and the hope of unjust men perisheth. The righteous is delivered out of trouble, and the wicked cometh in his stead. A hypocrite with his mouth destroyeth his neighbor, but through knowledge shall the just be delivered. When it goeth well with the righteous, this city rejoiceth, and when the wicked perish, there is shouting. By the blessing of the upright, the city is exalted, but is overthrown by the mouth of the wicked. He that is void of wisdom despiseth his neighbor, but a man of understanding holdeth his peace. A talebearer revealeth secrets, but he that is of a faithful spirit concealeth the matter. Where no counsel is, the people fall, but in the multitude of counselors there is safety. He that is surety for a stranger shall smart for it, and he that hateth suretyship is sure. Gracious woman retaineth honor, and strong men retain riches. The merciful man doeth good to his own soul, but he that is cruel troubleth his own flesh. The wicked worketh a deceitful work, but to him that soweth righteousness shall be a sure reward. As righteousness tendeth to life, so he that pursueth evil pursueth it to his own death. They that are of the forward heart are abomination to Yahweh, but such as are upright in their way are his delight. Though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished, but the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. As a jewel of gold in a swine's snout, so is a fair woman which is without discretion. The desire of the righteous is only good, but the expectation of the wicked is wrath. There is that scattereth, and yet increases, and there is that withholden more than is meet, but it tendeth to poverty. The liberal soul shall be made fat, and he that watereth shall be watered also himself. He that withholdeth corn, the people shall curse him, but the blessing shall be upon the head of him that selleth it. He that dil diligently seeketh good procureth favor, but he that seeketh mischief, it shall come unto him. He that trusteth in his riches shall fall, but the righteous shall flourish as a branch. He that troubleth his own house shall inherit the wind, and the fool shall be servant to the wise of heart. The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life, and he that winneth souls is wise. Behold, the righteous shall be recompensed in the earth much more than the wicked in the sinner. Proverbs 12 Whoso loveth instruction loveth knowledge, but he that hateth reproof is brutish. A good man obtaineth favor of Yahweh, but a man of wicked devices will he condemn. A man shall not be established by wickedness, but the root of the righteous shall not be moved. A virtuous woman is a crown to her husband, but she that maketh ashamed is as rottenness in his bones. The thoughts of the righteous are right, but the counsels of the wicked are deceit. The words of the wicked are to lie in wait for blood, but the mouth of the upright shall deliver them. The wicked are overthrown and are not, but the house of the righteous shall stand. A man shall be condemned according to his wisdom, but he that is of a perverse heart shall be despised. He that is despised, and hath a servant, is better than he that honoreth himself, and lacketh bread. A righteous man regardeth the life of his beast, but the tender mercies of the wicked are cruel. He that tilleth his land shall be satisfied with bread, but he that followeth vain persons is void of understanding. The wicked desireth the net of evil men, but the root of the righteous yieldeth fruit. The wicked is snared by the transgression of his lips, but the just shall come out of trouble. Man shall be satisfied with good by the fruit of his mouth, but the recompense of a man's hand shall be rendered unto him. The way of a fool is right in his own eyes, but he that hearkeneth unto counsel is wise. Fool's wrath is presently known, but a prudent man covers shame. 
He that speaketh truth showeth forth righteousness, but a false witness deceit. There is that speaketh like the piercings of a sword, but the tongue of the wise is health. The lip of truth shall be established forever, but the lying tongue is but for a moment. Deceit is in the heart of them that imagine evil, but to the counselors of peace is joy. There shall no evil happen to the just, but the wicked shall be filled with mischief. Lying lips are abomination to Yahweh, but they that deal truly are his delight. A prudent man concealeth knowledge, but the heart of fools proclaimeth foolishness. The hand of the diligent shall bear rule, but the slothful shall be under tribute. Heaviness in the heart of man maketh it stoop, but a good word maketh it glad. The righteous is more excellent than his neighbor, but the way of the wicked seduceth them. The slothful man roasteth not that which he took in hunting, but the substance of a diligent man is precious. In the way of righteousness is life, and in the pathway thereof there is no death. Proverbs 13 A wise son heareth his father's instruction, but a scorner heareth not rebuke. A man shall eat good by the fruit of his mouth, but the soul of the transgressor shall eat violence. He that keepeth his mouth keepeth his life, but he that openeth wide his lips shall have destruction. The soul of the slugger desireth and hath nothing, but the soul of the diligent shall be made fat. A righteous man hateth lying, but a wicked man is loathsome and cometh to shame. Righteousness keepeth him that is upright in the way, but wickedness overthroweth the sinner. There is that maketh himself rich, yet hath nothing. There is that maketh himself poor, yet hath great riches. The ransom of a man's life are his riches, but the poor heareth not rebuke. The light of the righteous rejoiceth, but the lamp of the wicked shall be put out. Only by pride cometh contention, but with the well advised is wisdom. Wealth gotten by vanity shall be diminished, but he that gathereth by labor shall increase. Hope deferred maketh the heart sick, but when the desire cometh it is a tree of life. Whoso despiseth the word shall be destroyed, but he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded. The law of the wise is a fountain of life to depart from the snares of death. Good understanding giveth favor, but the way of transgressors is hard. Every prudent man dealeth with knowledge, but the fool layeth open his folly. A wicked messenger falleth into mischief, but a faithful ambassador is health. Poverty and shame shall be to him that refuseth instruction, but he that regardeth reproof shall be honored. The desire accomplished is sweet to the soul, but it is an abomination to fools to depart from evil. He that walketh with wise men shall be wise, but a companion of fools shall be destroyed. Evil pursueth sinners, but to the righteous good shall be repaid. The good man leaveth an inheritance to his children's children, and the wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just. Much food is in the tillage of the poor, but there is that is destroyed for want of judgment. He that spareth his rod hateth his son, but he that loveth him chasteneth him betimes. The righteous eateth to satisfying of his soul, but the belly of the wicked shall want. Proverbs 14 Every wise woman buildeth her house, but the foolish plucketh it down with her hands. He that walketh in his uprightness feareth Yahweh, but he that is perverse in his ways despiseth him. In the mouth of the foolish is a rod of pride, but the lips of the wise shall preserve them. Where no oxen are, the crib is clean, but much increase is by the strength of the ox. A faithful witness will not lie, but a false witness will utter lies. A scorner seeketh wisdom and findeth it not, but knowledge is easy unto him that understandeth. Go from the presence of a foolish man, when thou perceivest not in him the lips of knowledge. The wisdom of the prudent is to understand his way, but the folly of fools is deceit. Fools make a mock at sin, but among the righteous there is favor. The heart knoweth his own bitterness, and a stranger doth not intermeddle with his joy. The house of the wicked shall be overthrown, but the tabernacle of the upright shall flourish. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Even in laughter the heart is sorrowful, and the end of that mirth is heaviness. The backslider in heart shall be filled with his own ways, and a good man shall be satisfied from himself. The simple believeth every word, but the prudent man looketh well to his going. A wise man feareth and departeth from evil, but the fool rageth and is confident. He that is soon angry dealeth foolishly, and a man of wicked devices is hated. The simple inherit folly, but the prudent are crowned with knowledge. 
the evil bow, the evil bow before the good and the wicked at the gates of the righteous. The poor is hated even of his own neighbor, but the rich hath many friends. He that despiseth his neighbor sinneth, but he that hath mercy on the poor, happy is he. Do they not err that devise evil? But mercy and truth shall be to them that devise good. In all labor there is profit, but the talk of the lips tendeth only to penury. The crown of the wise is the riches, but the foolishness of fools is folly. A true witness delivereth souls, but a deceitful witness speaketh lies. And the fear of Yahweh is strong confidence, and his children shall have a place of refuge. The fear of Yahweh is a fountain of life, to depart from the snares of death. Oh, wow, those are two good verses back to back. In the multitude of people is the king's honor, but in the want of people is the destruction of the prince. He that is slow to wrath is of great understanding, but he that is hasty of spirit exalteth folly. A sound heart is in the life of the flesh, but envy the rottenness of the bones. He that oppresseth the poor reproacheth his maker, but he that honoreth him hath mercy on the poor. The wicked is driven away in his wickedness, but the righteous hath hope in his death. Wisdom resteth in the heart of him that hath understanding, but that which is in the midst of fools is made known. Righteousness exalteth a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. The king's favor is toward the wise servant, but his wrath is against him that causes shame. Proverbs 15 A soft answer turneth away wrath, but grievous words stir up anger. The tongue of the wise useth knowledge aright, but the mouth of fools poureth out foolishness. The eyes of Yahweh are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. Wholesome tongue is a tree of life, but perverseness therein is a breach in the spirit. A fool despiseth his father's instruction, but he that regardeth reproof is prudent. In the house of the righteous is much treasure, in the revenues of the wicked is trouble. The lips of the wise disperse knowledge, but the heart of the foolish doeth not so. The sacrifice of the wicked is an abomination to Yahweh, but the prayer of the upright is his delight. The way of the wicked is an abomination to Yahweh, but he loveth him that followeth after righteousness. Correction is grievous unto him that forsaketh the way, and he that hateth reproof shall die. Hell and destruction are before Yahweh, how much more then the hearts of the children of men. The scorner loveth not one that reproveth him, neither will he go unto the wise. A merry heart maketh a cheerful countenance, but by sorrow of the heart the spirit is broken. The heart of him that hath understanding seeketh knowledge, but the mouth of fools feedeth on foolishness. All the days of the afflicted are evil, but he that is of a merry heart hath a continual feast. Better is little with the fear of Yahweh than great treasure and trouble therewith. Better is a dinner of herbs where love is than a stalled ox and hatred therewith. A wrathful man stir up up strife, but he that is slow to anger appeaseth strife. The way of a slothful man is a hedge of thorns, but the way of the righteous is made plain. A wise son maketh a glad father, but a foolish man despiseth his mother. Folly is joy to him that is destitute of wisdom, but a man of understanding walketh uprightly. Without counsel purposes are disappointed, but in the multitude of counselors they are established. A man hath joy by the answer of his mouth, and a word spoken in due season. How good it is! The way of life is above to the wise, that he may depart from hell beneath. Yahweh will destroy the house of the proud, but he will establish the border of the widow. The thoughts of the wicked are an abomination of Yahweh, but the words of the pure are pleasant words. He that is greedy of gain troubleth his own house, but he that hateth gifts shall live. The heart of the righteous studieth to answer, but the mouth of the wicked poureth out evil things. Yahweh is far from the wicked, but he heareth the prayer of the righteous. The light of the eyes rejoiceth the heart, and a good report maketh the, the bones fat. The ear that heareth the reproof of life abideth among the wise. He that refuseth instruction despiseth his own soul, but he that heareth reproof getteth understanding. The fear of Yahweh is the instruction of wisdom, and before honor is humility. Proverbs 16 The preparations of the heart in man, and the answer of the tongue is from Yahweh. All the ways of a man are clean in his own eyes, but Yahweh weigheth the spirits. Commit thy works unto Yahweh, and thy thoughts shall be established. Yahweh hath made all things for himself, yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. 
Everyone that is proud in heart is an abomination to Yahweh, though hand join in hand he shall not go, not be unpunished. By mercy and truth iniquity is purged, and by the fear of Yahweh men depart from evil. When a man's ways please Yahweh, he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him. Better is a little with righteousness than great revenues without. A man's heart deviseth his way, but Yahweh directeth his steps. Divine sentences in the lips of the king, his mouth transgresseth not in judgment. A just weight and balance are Yahweh's, all the weights of the bag are his work. It is an abomination to kings to commit wickedness, for the throne is established by righteousness. Righteous lips are the delight of kings, and they love him that speaketh right. The wrath of a king is as messengers of death, but a wise man will pacify it. In the light of the king's countenance is life, and his favor is as a cloud of the latter rain. How much better is it to get wisdom than gold, and to get understanding rather to be chosen than silver? The highway of their bright is to depart from evil. He that keepeth his way preserveth his soul. Pride goeth before destruction, and a haughty spirit before a fall. Better it is to be of a humble spirit with lowly, than to divide the spoil with the proud. He that handleth a matter wisely shall find good, and whoso trusteth in Yahweh, happy is he. That's a good second part there. Whoever trusts in our Lord Yahweh, happy is he. Amen. The wise in heart shall be called prudent, and the sweetness of the lips increaseth learning. Understanding is a wellspring of life unto him that hath it, but the instruction of fools is folly. The heart of the wise teacheth his mouth, and addeth learning to his lips. Pleasant words are as in honeycomb, sweet to the soul, and health to the bones. There is a way that seemeth right unto man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. He that laboreth laboreth for himself, for his mouth craveth it of him. An ungodly man diggeth up evil, and his lips there is as a burning fire. A forward man soweth strife, and a whisperer separateth chief friends. A violent man enticeth his neighbor, and leadeth him into the way that is not good. He shutteth his eyes to devise forward things, moving his lips he bringeth evil to pass. A hoary head is a crown of glory, if it be found in the way of righteousness. He that is slow to anger is better than the mighty, and he that ruleth his spirit than he that taketh a city. The lot is cast into the lap, but the whole disposing thereof is of Yahweh. Proverbs 17 Better is a dry morsel, and quietness therewith, than a house full of sacrifices with strife. A wise servant shall have rule over a son that causes shame, and shall have part of the inheritance among the brethren. The finding pot is for silver, and the furnace for gold, but Yahweh trieth the hearts. A wicked doer giveth heed to false lips, and a liar giveth ear to a naughty tongue. Whoso mocketh the poor reproacheth his maker, and he that is glad at calamity shall not be unpunished. Children's children are the crown of old men, and the glory of children are their fathers. Excellent speech becometh not a fool, much less do lying lips a prince. A gift is as a precious stone in the eyes of him that hath it, whithersoever it turneth, it prospereth. He that covereth a transgression seeketh love, but he that repeateth a matter separateth very friends. A reproof entereth more into the wise man than a hundred stripes into a fool. An evil man seeketh only rebellion. Therefore a cruel messenger shall be sent against him. Let a bear robbed of her whelps meet a man rather than a fool in his folly. Whoso rewardeth evil for good, evil shall not depart from his house. The beginning of strife is as when one letteth out water. Therefore leave off contention before it be meddled with. He that is justified justifieth the wicked, and he that condemneth the just, even they both are an abomination to Yahweh. Wherefore is there a prince in the hand of a fool get wi to get wisdom, seeing he hath no heart to it? A friend loveth at all times, and our brother is born for adversity. A man void of understanding striketh hands, and becometh a surety in the presence of his friend. He loveth transgression that loveth strife, and he that exalteth his gate seeketh destruction. He that hath a forward heart findeth no good, and he that hath a perverse tongue falleth into mischief. He that begetteth a fool doeth it to his sorrow, and the father of a fool hath no joy. A merry heart doeth good like a medicine, but a broken spirit drieth the bones. 
A wicked man taketh a gift out of the bosom to pervert the ways of judgment. Wisdom is before him that hath understanding, but the eyes of a fool are on the ends of the earth. A foolish son is a grief to his father, and bitterness to her that bear him. Also to punish the just is not good, nor to strike princes for equity. He that hath knowledge spareth his words, and a man of understanding is of an excellent spirit. Even a fool, when he holdeth his peace, is counted wise, and he that shutteth his lips is esteemed a man of understanding. Proverbs 18 Through desire a man, having separated himself, seeketh and intermeddleth with all wisdom. A fool hath no delight in understanding, but that his heart may discover itself. When the wicked cometh, then cometh also contempt, and with ignominy reproach. The words of a man's mouth are as deep waters, and the wellspring of wisdom as a flowing brook. It is not good to accept the person of the wicked to overthrow the righteous in judgment. A fool's lips enter into contention, and his mouth call for strokes. A fool's mouth is his destruction, and his lips are the snare of his soul. The words of a talebearer are as wounds, and they go down into the innermost parts of the belly. He also, that is slothful in his work, is brother to him that is a great waster. The name of Yahweh is a strong tower, the righteous runneth into it and is safe. And to that. The rich man's wealth is his strong city, and a high wall is his own conceit. Before destruction the heart of man is haughty, and before honor is humility. He that answereth a matter before he heareth it is folly and shame unto him. The spirit of man will sustain his infirmity, but a wounded spirit who can bear? The art of the prudent getteth knowledge, and the ear of the wise seeketh knowledge. Man's gift maketh room for him, and bringeth him before great men. He that is first in his own cause seemeth just, but his neighbor cometh and searcheth him. The lot causeth contentions to cease, and parteth between the mighty. A brother offended is harder to be won than a strong city, and their contentions are like a bars of a castle. A man's belly shall be satisfied with the fruit of his mouth, and with the increase of his lips shall he be filled. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Whoso findeth a wife findeth a good thing, and obtaineth favor of Yahweh. Or useth entreaties, but the rich answereth roughly. A man that hath friends must show himself friendly, and there is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. Proverbs 19 Better is the poor that walketh in his integrity than he that is perverse in his lips, and is a fool. Also that the soul be without knowledge, it is not good, and he that hasted with his feet sinneth. The foolishness of man perverteth his way, and his heart fretteth against Yahweh. Wealth maketh many friends, but the poor is separated from his neighbor. False witness shall not be unpunished, and he that speaketh lies shall not escape. Many will entreat the favor of the prince, and every man is a friend to him that giveth gifts. All the brethren of the poor do hate him, how much more do his friends go far from him. He pursueth them with words, yet they are wanting to him. He that getteth wisdom loveth his own soul, he that keepeth understanding shall find good. A false witness shall not be unpunished, and he that speaketh lies shall perish. Delight is not seemly for a fool, much less for a servant to have rule over princes. The discretion of a man to furth his anger in it is his glory to pass over a transgression. The king's wrath is as a roaring of a lion, but his favor is as dew upon the grass. A foolish son is calamity of his father, and contentions of a wife are a continual dropping. House and riches are the inheritance of fathers, and a prudent wife is from Yahweh. Slothfulness casteth into deep sleep, and an idle soul shall suffer hunger. He that keepeth the commandment keepeth his own soul, but he that despiseth his way shall die. He that hath pity upon the poor lendeth unto Yahweh, and that which he hath given will he pay him again. Chasten thy son while there is hope, and let not thy soul spare for his crying. A man of great wrath shall suffer punishment, for if thou deliver him, yet thou must do it again. Hear counsel and receive instruction, that thou mayest be wise in thy latter end. There are many devices in a man's heart, nevertheless the counsel of Yahweh that shall stand. The desire of a man is his kindness, and a poor man is better than a liar. 
The fear of Yahweh tendeth to life, and he that hath it shall abide satisfied. He shall not be visited with evil. A slothful man hideth his hand in his bosom, and will not so much as bring it to his mouth again. Smite a scorner, and the simple be will beware. And reprove one that hath understanding, and he will understand knowledge. He that wasteth his father, and chasteneth away his mother, is a son that causeth shame, and bringeth reproach. Cease, my son, to hear the instruction that causeth to err from the words of knowledge. An ungodly witness scorneth judgment, and the mouth of the wicked devoureth iniquity. Judgments are prepared for scorners, and stripes for the back of fools. Psalms 20, or excuse me, Proverbs 20. Wine is a mocker, strong drink is raging, and whosoever is deceived thereby is not wise. The fear of a king is as the roaring of a lion. Whoso provoke him to anger sinneth against his own soul. It is an honor for man to cease from strife, but every fool will be meddling. The sluggard will not plow by reason of cold, therefore shall he beg and harvest and have nothing. Counsel in the heart of man is like deep water, but a man of understanding will draw it out. Most men will proclaim every one his own goodness, but a faithful man who can find. A just man walketh in his integrity, his children are blessed after him. The king that sitteth in the throne of judgment scattereth away all evil with his eyes. Who can say, I have made my heart clean, I am pure from my sin? Diverse weights and diverse measures, both of them are like abomination to Yahweh. Even a child is known by his doings, whether his work be pure and whether it be right. The hearing ear and the seeing eye, Yahweh hath made even both of them. Love not sleep, lest thou come to poverty. Open thine eyes, and thou shalt be satisfied with bread. It is not, it is not, saith the buyer, but when he is gone away, then he boasteth. There is gold and a multitude of rubies, but the lips of knowledge are a precious jewel. Take his garment that is surety for a stranger, and take a pledge of him for a strange woman. Bread of deceit is sweet to a man, but afterwards his mouth shall be filled with gravel. Every purpose is established by counsel, and with good advice maketh war. He that goeth about as a talebearer revealeth secrets, therefore meddle not with him that flattereth with his lips. Whoso curseth his father or his mother, his lamp shall pour out in obscure darkness. An inheritance may be gotten hastily at the beginning, but the end thereof shall not be blessed. Say not thou, I will recompense evil, but wait on Yahweh, and he shall save thee. Diverse weights are an abomination unto Yahweh, and false balance is not good. Man's goings are of Yahweh. How can a man then understand his own way? It is a snare to the man who devoureth that which is holy, and after vows to make inquiry. A wise king scattereth the wicked, and bringeth the wheel over them. The spirit of a man is the candle of Yahweh, searching all the inward parts of the belly, Mercy and truth preserve the king, and his throne is upholden by mercy. The glory of young men is their strength, and the beauty of old men is their gray head. The blueness of a wound cleanseth away evil, so do stripes in the inward parts of the belly. Well, I guess I'm beautiful because I have a lot of gray hairs. <laughs> uh, just kidding. So that's going to be it for today. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. Hope you guys have a great evening, morning, noon, wherever you're at. And as always, TTFN, Todd's off for now. Take care. God bless. Remember to put God first in everything you do. Have faith in him. Have trust in him. And wait upon him. And you'll never be sorry. We'll see you tomorrow, God willingly, with the rest of Proverbs. Thanks again. We'll see you later.